Hello and welcome back to another YouTube vlog. How are you all? I'm here today at the Bulgari Hotel because I'm working here for the next two days. I've quickly set up in the salon area, which you guys will have seen. It's not in my usual space. I usually have my own room, but because it's busy, I think they needed that room for maybe some massages and some treatments that require some extra privacy. But I quite like my space because there's quite a lot of light in. I've just brought my luggage up to the room and I'm just gonna quickly freshen up before my client. I had a little bite to eat on the train and I also had some drama with the trains this morning, which I'll tell you guys later. I've noticed, oh my God, I don't know if you guys can see, but I've noticed that my lips are really dry. I actually brought the new Road lip peptide treatment with me because I only received it a couple of days ago and it's her new um, jelly bean one that she's brought out for her birthday so I thought I'd unbox it with you guys and show you what it looks like I'm really excited to see what it's like because it, it has come in like a bright pink packaging so I hope it's not a bright pink lip balm because I'm not that kind of gal so I'll quickly do that unboxing and then I guess I'm gonna freshen up and head to work so I'll fill you guys in on my train drama later on okay, so this is what I received I had to bring it with me because I really wanted to try it. So it's the Birthday Candy Lip Peptide. Ooh, it's a tint with a shimmer. Let's have a look at what's inside. I love that the packaging is shaped like a jelly bean. Ooh, and there's a little case inside as well. Okay, how am I gonna get this out one-handed? Let's have a look. I'm guessing, so this is the peptide, but there's something else in there. Let me get it out and then I'll show you guys. Okay, so it's really cool because you get a peptide glazing fluid in this. I've got a few at home and I've actually got one that I'm currently using. So I'm gonna save this one for next time. And then here it is, the new road peptide lip treatment. Gosh, it's like a, it's a mouthful saying that. But it's really cute is the packaging. I really like it. I've just come to the bathroom to see what it looks like on. So I'm just gonna apply this. Oh, you can see the shimmer in it. It's subtle. Oh my God, and it tastes like jelly beans. It's so nice. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see the shimmer. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be perfect for the festive season. I think this is such a cute gift and I don't think you can go wrong with this. I really like how that looks on. It's subtle, but it's got that little extra some summit to it. So yummy and approved by me. Okay, I finally sorted myself out and managed to unpack a little bit of my things. I've got some spare time before I head down for my first client of the day. I didn't actually tell you guys why I'm here. So obviously I'm here for work. So I have a guest residence at the Bulgari Hotel in London. So I'm here and I've got clients um, who I'm gonna see to today for their nails. Also tonight there's a party going on for the private members club and I've kindly been invited to that too. So I'll be able to mingle with some of the clients and hopefully make new clients of my own and meet some of the staff who I've not met before. So I'm really excited for that because I get to dress up. It's something a little different to like what I usually would do here. So usually I just come do my clients and then basically go home. But it's an extra special little stay because we've got a party as well. I honestly can't believe how good this lip peptide looks. I'm just admiring it from <laughs> the little screen on the side of my camera. It looks so good. I think this is by far one of my favorites. I also love the tinted uh, lip peptide, the one in toast. That's one of my favorites, but this is another favorite of mine. I love the little shimmer that it has to it. And I think the natural gloss kind of makes my lips look a little bit more juicy and plump. So I really like this. I think this is gonna be my go-to for the rest of the year. I thought I'd just quickly run around the room with you all. Oh, my things are already lying around, but how pretty is this room? You guys will have seen this room layout so many times across my Instagram and on my YouTube, but I just love it. Every single time I'm here, I just love being here. And every time I come, they always leave me a kind little note and some baked goods. So I'm really, really looking forward to having them in a little while. And here is the amazing bathroom, which I always film in. It's just so stunning. I love the black marble and the wood detailing. It's one of my favorite hotel bathrooms. So, so luxurious. And I love this huge mirror and vanity area. I just love getting ready here on a morning. And I love the fact that this also lights up. So you've got some extra lighting if required. And whilst I'm here, I might as well do a quick outfit of 
the day, I got this new jumper from H&M in, I think it was a Black Friday sale. It's just so nice. It's kind of similar to my stripy one that I got from Zara. And then I'm wearing my trusty H&M trousers. So I'm basically in a full H&M outfit today. And these trousers are so comfy. I'll show you guys a better view. They're just so, it's like, um, it's like a crepey kind of material. They're just so easy to throw on, easy to wear with t-shirt, jumper, and then I've got my loafers on. I love an all black outfit. I just think if you don't know what to wear, in my case, which I got ready really early this morning and I rushed to the station, I just knew that if I put something black on, I would feel and look put together. I think wearing black makes me feel the most comfortable and the most confident. So that's my outfit of the day. So I think I'm just gonna quickly um, iron my outfits for tonight. I've got two options. Um, two dresses so I'm gonna iron them ready for later and then I'm gonna head down to my clients I'm obviously not gonna be able to vlog the treatments that I'm doing on my clients just because of privacy reasons so I'm gonna do them and I'll see you guys in a little while bye okay so I'm now finished for the day and I have like an hour and a half to eat some food and to get ready for the party tonight so I'm gonna quickly call room service and I think I'm gonna order some pasta really fancy some carbs. I've not actually eaten anything today, so I think I need some carbs before this party tonight. Okay, that was a very quick service. So my food has arrived. I'm gonna show you guys what I've ordered. So this is my food. It's just a table full of carbs. So there's bread, cheese, and pasta. And then to keep things healthy, I've got some water. <laughs> Oh, look how yummy that looks. I love plain pasta. Well, tomato pasta. Take a bite. You first. 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 Oh my gosh. If you guys know, you know. That is the guy on TikTok who... What's his name? Prayag? 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 I don't know. But he's the guy that does that the way you act it's the way you act <laughs> i don't even know why i'm trying to be like him he is actually so funny but yeah you guys i don't know how to eat spaghetti pasta like i get it everywhere which is why i put this bib the way i put it so i've got my spoon here actually i've got a good thing going on here and then mm. okay i asked them to make it spicy boy did they make it spicy and i forgot to add my parmigiano. I'm just gonna sprinkle some of that on. This is actually so good. I've never been a kind of girl who likes a lot of things in their pasta. So like, I'd rather order a plain tomato based pasta than something with chicken or something else in it. And the same goes with pizza. I'm more of a margarita pizza than I am. Well, I'm not a margarita pizza, but I'm more of a margarita pizza kind of gal than I am some you know someone to get the toppings i've always just preferred plain pasta or plain italian food shall i say i mean don't get me wrong i don't mind the odd prawn thrown in here or there but i just kind of prefer plain food that's one thing and this is one reason why i don't like eating spaghetti pasta because i feel like when you do get a long piece you have to slurp it up and especially if i'm in a restaurant i don't mind but because it's just you and i here just the two of us feel like it's fine you won't judge me but if I was in a restaurant I don't know if I'm dressed all nice and I'm slurping pasta it's just not it's not the right thing to do is it it's actually really funny as well because growing up we weren't really we were taught obviously table etiquette but we were never really taught it in the west like the western way because in my culture we're taught to eat with our hands so when we eat curry you know foods like that chapatis and things, rice, you, you tend to eat it with your hands. So I've always kind of eaten most food with my hands. And obviously now, living in the Western world, we're not gonna go to restaurants and eat with our hands, especially if it's like food like pasta and things like that. I mean, when it's pizza and chips, depending on which kind of restaurant I'm at, I will eat with my hands. But I find that, I don't know, growing up eating with your foods and then learning like table etiquette as you grow older, I don't know, I find it a little bit difficult i am used to it like i've been doing it for years but i just find it easier i guess to eat with hands and i do like that part of our culture Whew. okay that was spicy i'm now done that was yummy 
yummy but spicy. I've left a few little tomatoes. But now I'm gonna clear this up and start getting ready. So what I want to do is basically take this look from day to night. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm gonna try and take this look from day to night. But before I do that, I completely forgot to take my Perfecto supplements today. Probably because I didn't eat in the morning and I'm supposed to take them with food. Recently started my Perfecto journey and I'm gonna see how I get on with it and then I'll feed back to you guys. So it's only been two days, so today's the third day. So I'm gonna take my supplement now with some water. They're really good for hair, skin and nails. Okay, so that's my first one for today. So I'm gonna put that aside and I'm probably gonna have one tonight before bed and um, when I have a little bite to eat. But they're really good for, like I mentioned, your hair, skin and nails. They contain biotin, they contain iron, all things that you need to have healthy hair, skin and nails. So I'm really looking forward to see if it improves the health of my nails, if it improves the growth of my hair and just my overall health of my skin. I'm gonna see how I get on with it for the next few months. I'm gonna feed back on my Instagram stories as well, probably every couple of weeks. So if you guys don't follow me on there, check me out at Erin Shelton and stay tuned for some updates. But for now, I'm gonna crack on and see what I can do with my makeup. Don't want to do too much. I wanna try and keep it natural and look slightly undone because I feel like my dress is quite formal. So I'm not gonna do too much to my face, just probably freshen up my foundation and apply some lashes. But yeah, I'm gonna do that and I'll probably time lapse it all for you guys. So let's get ready. Okay, so that's it for my makeup. I love the little bit of sparkle that I've given to my eyes and my lips. I'm just gonna put my dress on now and think, keep my hair as is. I'm not sure, I'll put the dress on and then I'll figure out what I'm doing with my hair, but I want to keep it kind of understated. I don't want to be overdressed for this event, especially if I'm gonna be meeting potential clients. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly get changed and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've just got my dress on, accessories as well. And I think I'll show you guys the full outfit in the long mirror because I don't think you can see it from here. So let me quickly show you guys the full look. Okay, so here's a better look of the outfit. Got my dress, clutch, and my cute little kitten heels. It's like the perfect maxi dress for an event like this. And I feel like by having my hair and makeup like this, I'm kind of, I'm glam, but not over the top, but fingers crossed. There, there are gonna be people who outshine me down there. So yeah, I'm gonna probably have to leave you here and I'll try and vlog as much as I can downstairs. I'll try and do it on my phone. Probably won't be able to. If I can, I will. If I can't, then I'll see you guys when I get back. Bye. Hello, I'm finally back to my room. I am absolutely knackered. Who would have thought that socializing and speaking to people and meeting people for the first time ever could actually tire you out this much? I feel so tired, I don't know what it is, but I met some really cool and amazing people, to be honest. I don't think I've ever been in a setting where there's been so many unique and different people. There were people from all sorts of backgrounds and all sorts of walks of life and I met somebody who basically is a musician, has been mu writing music for years um, and is actually quite big in the music industry. So yeah, very, very interesting night. But like I said, I'm absolutely knackered. I'll try and insert some little clips as well. I didn't actually take that many because I was too busy getting introduced to people and meeting new people so I didn't actually have time to film. It was very nice, very intimate and I saw some familiar faces which was really nice and I got to catch up with some of the staff as well that I don't get to see all the time. But anyway, where was I? The battery died um, so I had to quickly change that. I had such a lovely evening. I'm gonna take off my makeup now and probably just get ready for bed. I also need to remember to take my Perfectal tablet because you're supposed to take two a day so I'm gonna have one of them 
and then hop into bed. I've actually had such a long day. I woke up super early to get here and it's been quite busy. And then tomorrow um, is a day of clients and I'll be heading home tomorrow late in the evening. So got to get a good night's sleep tonight. So let's take off this makeup. Okay, so that's my nighttime skincare routine done. I feel so glowy. Although I do have a few breakouts, I don't feel that bad because I know that I am now taking care of my skin again, which I hope I continue to do. I always fall off track when it comes to skincare routine, but I'm taking my supplements, I'm doing my skincare routine, so fingers crossed my skin starts to pick itself back up again and just I don't know, just starts glowing again. Okay, so I think that's me done for tonight. I'm absolutely shattered, but I'm so glad I've taken this time out to do my skincare routine and to remove my makeup properly and not use makeup wipes. I feel so much better for it, especially now that I've seen, I do have a few little pimples coming through, but it's nothing to worry about. They'll hopefully clear themselves up. So yeah, so I'm gonna head off to bed. I'm probably gonna make myself a little peppermint tea and I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning. Night. Good morning. How is everyone? I had the best night's sleep ever. I must say this every time I come to the Bulgari hotels, like the beds are just like clouds. I I just fall into bed and that's it. I'm in a deep sleep until the next morning, which never happens to me at home. I think we need to buy a new bed and mattress because I mean, we've had it since we've moved in and that's been what, six, seven years. So yeah, I think I'm gonna start looking for a new bed and mattress. If I can sleep like this every day, I think I'd be in a better mood every single day. But anyway, I'm wearing my glasses today because I forgot to bring uh, my contact lenses with me. I always have a spare pack packed with me um, in my vanity case, but I switched out my vanity case and I've got a new one with me and I don't have any spare contact lenses. So I'm gonna rock the glasses today. I don't think they look that bad, but maybe with makeup I might look a little bit weird. I can't do anything about it now. I just feel weird in them because I don't wear them all the time. I can see without glasses. I think my prescription is like minus two, but I think when I'm working, I need to be wearing glasses because if I'm doing nail art and painting nails, it's quite intricate and detailed. So I don't want to be squinting or have the person's hand, you know, right in my face. Um, so yeah, I've just made myself a cup of tea. I'm gonna have that, then shower, get ready and head down to see some clients. I've actually got Hadra coming in today, so I might try and film her nails if I can. I, I won't be able to film the other clients, so fingers crossed I'll be able to film a little bit of what I do on her and then I can show you guys me working behind the scenes. But other than that, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you yesterday, the train drama. So yesterday, um, I always set off to the train station like way before my train is scheduled. So I'm stood at the barriers and train line, the train line app isn't working. So I'm thinking, how am I supposed to get my tickets? So I went through my emails, tried to see if they'd sent any emails about the tickets there, which they did, they sent a receipt, but there was no barcode that you scan as you go in um, to the station. So I started panicking, went to the reception desk. The men were so unhelpful. They were like, you need to repurchase a whole new ticket. And in my head, I'm thinking, there's no way I'm paying like hundred pound plus for another ticket when I've got one. I just can't load it up. Anyway, I overheard somebody else speaking to the train attendant who was like at the barriers saying that their app wasn't working and he let them go through and at this point like I had like 10 minutes left to get onto my train and usually I give myself at least half an hour I'm stood waiting on the platform so I'm like panicking so I go over to him and I'm like oh my like my ticket won't scan I can't load it up can you let me through and he was like yeah yeah it's fine I think the app's down and I was like are they going to be okay with me on the train and he was like yeah it should be fine get onto the train and the woman I can hear her speaking the train attendant she's like oh no we're checking all train tickets. If you don't have a train ticket, there's no excuses. You're gonna have to repurchase. So I'm starting to panic. So 
for about 20 minutes of the journey I'm just sat there trying to get this app to work anyway it ended up working and I didn't have to repurchase a new ticket but do you know when you already have travel anxiety that is just not what you need and I was just sat there panicking thinking oh my god I'm gonna have to spend even more money buying a ticket and train tickets around this time of year are so expensive it's like it must be at least just shy of 200 pound return from Leeds to London so that's quite expensive especially if you come in on a regular basis like I am but yeah lesson learned so in future if you're traveling whether it's plane tickets train tickets make sure you screenshot them and have them somewhere safe because if anything like that happens you can't rely on technology so yeah that's all I wanted to share with you <laughs> It was just in my head it sounded a lot worse and at the time it was a lot worse But if you have travel anxiety like me, then you'll understand. So yeah, I'm just gonna quickly Have my tea get ready and head off to work. So Let's get ready. I just found this pistachio wafer in the mini bar area and you guys it is so Yummy, I've never heard of this brand before Babby it's oh my gosh it's like covered in chocolate and it just oh my god it's amazing i'm gonna i'm saving this for myself for later so i don't forget i'm gonna order some of these because they're tasty and they have different flavors i think i saw a tiramisu one but i picked this one up amazing Okay, so I've done my makeup, but I'm gonna be wearing glasses today. I don't know how I feel. Do I look like a school teacher or do I look okay? I know these frames aren't the coolest of frames, they're just the standard Ray Ban kind of frame, but I don't know. Oh, okay, I'm gonna get dressed and then I'll see how I feel, but either way, I'm gonna have to wear them. I guess it's a new look for me. Okay, here's my full look of the day. Got this oversized knit on, little off the shoulder detailing, my trousers, loafers, and my spectacles. I guess they're a cool accessory and I'm embracing it. I think at 27, I need to get over the fact that I wear glasses and sometimes, you know, I can't wear contact lenses, but this is like my first time ever where I'm going to work and I'm wearing glasses. Maybe I'm having like a little identity crisis, but it'll be fine. I'll try and vlog as much as possible for the rest of the day. Like as I mentioned, I've got hydro coming, so I'll try and film our nail appointment. And then um, I think I'm gonna go see Nikki as well today. So I'll try and film a little bit of her nails. For now, I'm gonna see you guys later because I am getting late for work. So bye. I'm here at my little workstation so excited let's get ready we forgot to film well i forgot to film <laughs> and hadra is now doing some content for me look at how nice her nails look milky white french hello good evening sorry i didn't actually vlog properly yesterday after i left the bulgari hotel it was just chaotic from there i rushed to nikki's house did her nails rushed to the station to get on my train and then my train was delayed. I got home at like 2 a.m. It was absolutely freezing. It had already started to snow and I was just so tired. I pretty much fasted for the full day so I didn't even eat anything. Luckily, I managed to pick up a sandwich from um, Pret as I was at the station and I managed to eat that on the train but I was honestly you know when you're just so tired and fed up and cold and you just want to get home that's how i felt last night so i just kind of had a lie in and relaxed for most of the day today which is why i look like this i've got no makeup on but yeah i had such an amazing time in london i always love going to london especially like when i'm by myself it's i guess i was gonna say it's downtime but it's not actually downtime because i'm always on the go but it's nice being able to do things by myself and independently without having you know josh and socks with me as always please don't forget to like and comment on my video it really helps me a lot and I also want to say thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers I know it's such a small number but it's a huge milestone for me because I wanted to grow this channel away from my work away from the nail side of things 
So I'm really looking forward to growing this channel with you guys, showing you behind the scenes a little bit more of me and for you guys to know me outside of the nail world. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoy this vlog of my London diaries. I'm gonna start doing some more just so you guys can see what I do behind the scenes when I'm not working. I'll try and show you clips from when I am working but it's always difficult to do that because of the nature of my job but stay tuned for next week's vlog because I'm going to be filming some upcoming events some festive events that I'm going to be attending and they're obviously events that I will be able to film and take you guys along with me and I'll see you guys in the next video bye